Hey guys, hey guys, let us start again, guys. Let us start, let us start, let us start, let us start. Let us start. And this is a very interesting night. Uh, uh, this is just so interesting because there is something happening in crypto. I mean, we just, we just have to get to use uh, to, uh, you know, it's not all about Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin is only part of it. There are uh, other exciting things that are happening in crypto. Hey, Henry, you know, there are just other exciting things that are happening in crypto. And uh, we basically have to learn to look at those other exciting things that are happening in crypto. Uh, and uh, what is the news today? Oh, Elon's latest attempt. So is he now the god of crypto? I don't know. I think the crypto guys don't like him, you know. Can you guys go like him for a while? Because anything he's, uh, he's doing does not work. But hey, I thought we loved Dogecoin, right? Dogecoin was our favorite. In fact, on eToro, the favorite coin on eToro is Dogecoin and ADA. Hmm. So I told you something already, right? So DeFi, DeFi. So a lot of people do not know this, but do you guys know that DeFi is... There is something happening in DeFi, actually. You know, something very, very interesting that is happening uh, in DeFi. And I think it's, it's very, very uh, interesting. Uh, this is even more interesting. NFT sales top 2.5 billion in first half of 2021. Uh, 100K. What is this? 100K from what? Received 100K from TradeFi. Oh, another one. Brutal quarters could see Tesla report to 100 million loss. Yes, they bought at about what? They bought at about 33. So it's 33 or 36, somewhere around there, okay? But here, this is now about uh, NFTs and this is now about DeFi. And you might not have seen this. Let's see. Look at that. I want you to look at that. We're going to look at NFTs, then we'll look at DeFi, then we're going to look at uh, other stuff, right? NFTs, DeFi, and Ethereum. Those are said. Look at that. It went up, it crashed, and then it's up again. And we didn't see that. Okay, that's why you need to uh, focus on this and look at this. A lot of people did not see this. Look at this. Uh, not this one, but rather this Crypto Slam. I know we haven't seen it. Look at the top now. It's no more NBA top shot. It used to be NBA top shot. Look at the board Ape Yacht Club. Okay, this is interesting. Let me tell you what's happening in this world so that we can be apes, right? Apes together strong. This has been selling at around 3,500 to 3,600, right? And this only started at 215 bucks so hey there is a rally going on there is like an ido going on guys and it's in the nft the real thing it's not top shots because top shot it has gone down by quite a bit okay but look at this xc infinity look at that transactions on xc infinity the axes, those little monsters, are actually used for people to make money, income. I do not know whether they're subject to income tax, but they are used by people to make money. Look at this. I want you to show something here. Axe infinity here. Let's take this out. Look at what's happening to AI. These are the little axes, okay? And look at that. Now XC Infinity is listed everywhere. You can buy this. And look at that. Look at that. The fundamentals of XC is just going off the roof. Higher mystique XC floor price. Higher than crypto punks. I hope. I hope that Julie's son has this. Or I know he has a lot of XCs, right? But look at this. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at this. Small, was this, what is, love potion. I don't know what is small love potion or simple love potion. Farming is even more lucrative than fresh grad salaries in Malaysia. 
200 SLP is $40 a day, $800 a month. Do you see this? People, guys, are using Axie Infinity to actually make money. Because when you play Axie, you get SLP. What's well, a small love potion? Let's go and see that. Let's go and see that. This is interesting because we don't see that. We are too bothered with the bear market. We are too bothered with where Bitcoin is going. And suddenly there is something that is in a full bull run. Okay, so let's see this. Let's see our coin gecko here. What in the world is happening to Axie Infinity? Very interesting, okay? We're going to have a class on Saturday, right? For the people, right? For the uh, yeah, bear market. Yeah, there are things happening. Like those of you like this, right? Those of you like John, yeah, if you are living this, you know there are things happening. You will see and you will find. Hey, congratulations. John has done it. Cardano, awesome. Now, Matic, awesome. Yeah, awesome. Now, look at XC Infinity, guys. It crash yes it crashed but look at that this is what i say things are just happening again right went up ten dollars went down three dollars seventy percent off and now it is 13 14. this is what is going to happen to a lot of cryptos the good ones will reach at least or around their previous ath during the next bull run the others will go and exceed like this when we have a bull run, if we have a bull run, but you can see it's already coming to this. Let's see SLP. I don't know, can, can, can I go mine flow? No, I am mining flow. What am I talking about? I'm already mining flow. I should mine more, yes, yeah, smooth love potion. Don't you love your smooth love potion? I'm sure, I'm sure Rio has a lot of SLP. I'm just going to tell his mom. I don't know, baby. It's not about the girlfriend, dear mom of Rio. It is small love potion. Just to tell his mom, okay? Doesn't mean that he's talking about small love potion. He has a girlfriend or something. I don't know. Go check it out. He probably has a lot of small love potions from playing Axie. And he is now making more, guys. More than a fresh graduate in Malaysia. How about that? In fact, he's making more than a lot of fresh graduates in Malaysia, right? This, and because a lot of fresh graduates do not have jobs in Malaysia. So I think that is, that's really cool. That, that's like one of the most coolest things ever, okay? What are the news here? This is what I want you guys to know. Next, Ethereum. 500 million bet on ETH2. People are staking this, okay? People are staking this. Look at that. Ethereum Classic has doubled days after digital currency groups bet 50 million. Everything related to 50 million, you know, everything related to Ethereum is good, right? Ethereum is like, hey, there, we've come back. Hello, Ethereum. Let's look at Bitcoin now. Again, we tried to go down, but this is good because we still have the higher low. This is the next resistance, 35.8. Remember, next week was going to happen. But should we really be scared? Yes, we should be scared. But should we be scared, scared? I don't think so. Look at that. Even Ethereum is going up. Yeah, I didn't draw this line here. SMP is going up. Treasury yields are going down. ADA is going up also. So now it looks like the Ethereum and Bitcoin show, especially the Ethereum. Those of you in the wallets class last week, on Saturday, look at that. When we stake this, this was 1621, right? So here is what I want to talk to you about Ethereum now, but I have to put in also privacy swap so that you guys can understand. This is what's happening to Ethereum. So again, when you talk about Ethereum here, they are producing more and more coins. Like this is the emission, normal. This is the emission, okay? Now what will happen is this, and, and privacy swap does it too, right? Privacy swap does it too. As I said, the only way to prevent this value from going down as you produce more and more coins, right, is to have value. What is privacy swap doing? And now it's 1621. And look at my staking here. Don't, don't follow me. 
Uh, I have 1,000 here, but I told you guys it's $10. Like, look at that. I have that already. $16.86. I'm a happy camper. I'm a happy camper. This is only for three days. I think about my one privacy. That's cool. Three days, one privacy. One day is, <laughs> one, one year is what? One year is 360 days. So I can get 120 privacy. That's cool. But this depends on privacy going up and privacy must do something which is of value. Now let's look at Ethereum again here. What is happening is this. You are going to see with ETH 2.0, it's going to be difficult to mine. It's going to be difficult to mine. Hence, you're not going to have this a lot anymore, right? In fact, this is inflationary, and this means Ethereum could go to deflationary. That is what people are excited about Ethereum, okay? Look at that. And let's look here. Inflationary to deflationary. So let's look here. EIP1559 happening on the 14th, okay? But look at it. I told you guys, right? I told you guys. Everything on Ethereum is delayed. So we're going to look at it. Has been proposed to go live on the mainnet on 4th of August. So the decision came in. They're going to be late again. Let's look what happened last year, okay? Pulling out the champagne. Not only that, they have something bigger than this. 1559, yes. So it's already live on the test nets. It's already producing all these blocks on the test net. I, I think... They have it running already, but they have to wait for this block. And it is, you know, this is a blockchain, right? It is expected this is only going to happen to fourth. And look at that. Ethereum, no one wants to sell now. Everyone is taking it out of the exchange, which is kind of good, which is kind of good. But more interesting than this Ethereum is what is going to happen after this, right? Look at this. Look at this, guys. This is interesting. Look at this. If EIP 1559 would have run last year, they would have removed like 14, no, 7.7% of Ethereum. They, they just would have moved it, right? They just would have moved it out, right? If EIP 15, because they were burning the fees, right? Burning the fees. This is good. This is why I said it is going. One day, it will flip into deflationary. Once it's deflationary, that's very good because, yeah, less supply. Less supply. Remember, less supply. Less drama. It doesn't have to create drama to go up, John. <laughs> now there's to be a lot of drama to go up, right? Because, hey, what's next? What's next? What is next? Because now, you know, they're before this EIP 1559, they were going along the scaling, right? They were talking about optimistic. Well, that didn't happen. That didn't happen. Okay. And they were talking about uh, the other one was Arbitrum. Okay, that will happen. But we can see less drama. And this is cool. This is cool taking it out of circulation. Okay. Not only that, there's something else. Let me find it. What did I know? Not only in 1559. There is something else that's going to happen, and you got to understand this. It's called the difficulty bomb. Yes, there is a bomb. What will happen is next year, you know, starting December 1 to December 1st. Remember this. These are the key dates for Ethereum, okay? It's EIP 3554. It is called EIP 3554. EIP 3554. This is the difficulty bomb. That means starting on 1st December, it may not, and they're going to bring this up slowly, it may not be worth it for miners to mine Ethereum anymore. So you're going to have people closing down the machines because then that is proof of stake, right? You have to stake it to get the reward. So remember this. These are two dates now. Sorry, it's not 14th of July. It's 4th of August. and. 1st December. Why I why am I telling you this? Because this could be, it could be when the market goes really, really up. And then I don't have to tell you what to do, right? That is when you expect a lot of uh, confluence of good news. So remember the date. Remember August. Remember 
Remember December. Okay, don't forget these two dates. These are cool dates. So this is what is happening in the world of Ethereum. And this, I think, is what is really pulling up the... Let's go something else here. But again, before we go on, I just want to show you China. Who knows? China is in the news again. Who knows why? China is in the big news again, right? They came in and came and bothered us. They came in and threatened to close us out. And then they're doing something else. They are just creating havoc. I don't know. They should be loving President Joe Biden. Yes, Didi. They have banned the app. I mean, this is like, guys, there's going to be a lot of lawsuits, okay? I, I just don't know how Didi is going to run from it because I saw yesterday CNBC. And, uh, man, I think a lot of lawsuits are going to be filed because they just had an IPO in the U.S. <laughs> right this week. And now this happens and it's down, what, 25%? I don't know. This smells of a lawsuit. I don't even know whether the DDCO knew about this, but I just don't know. This is going to be a long thing and people are now scared. People are now just scared of buying China stock, especially those American depository receipts, because they should have known about this. Or at least in their prospectus, they should have said that eh, 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 red, right? Red light, this could happen to us because it happened to Jack Ma, okay? That's why I said, like, I'm quite lucky, you know, I was going after the ant ICO, sorry, IPO, but I didn't do it. And I'm so lucky I didn't do it because had I gone in, had I paid my money, you know, bankers, they would like to take something off of that, which is fair. And then to get that money out, another issue. And that's a lot of money, okay? So I'm, I'm quite lucky not to have gone in. So again, again, wait, again. when China does this, it's like, oh man, this is, this is not good, okay? But having said that, let's talk about other things now. Let's talk about these things now. More important thing, guys, is the thing about DeFi. I just want to show you DeFi. It's very important. I'm going to go to Coin Codex. Uh, can, can I go this? Can I go 24 hour volume? Uh, I'm just going to go this. No, I like Coin Codex better because I want to see the this thing, right? I just want to see the uh, what's happening now. And what's happening now, guys, is there is a DeFi rally. It's a stealth rally. Maybe you don't know about it, but man, it is happening. Look at that. Okay, that's BTC. We're not interested in that. Ho, 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 change, change, change. But this is good to know, right? This is good to know. Okay, change it, guys, change it. I want to see what happened. Look at that. Axie Infinity, KuCoin, an exchange. Mana, oh, Decentraland, that is NFTs. Luna, okay, this is DeFi, right? They are UST, where you guys are enjoying, where John is enjoying his gain, right? Luna. FTT exchange, KSM staking for DeFi, Engine NFT, Stacks against staking. This is doing the coin token. Chili's, oh my God, NFT, Phantom. Okay, it's a chain. Solana, hello, Solana NFT. No, Solana is a DeFi. Nexo, hello, Nexo borrowing. That's DeFi. So it's all DeFi, DeFi, and DeFi. And when you have DeFi, DeFi, and DeFi, this, you got to know what to go into, right? And we want the hottest one. So the DeFi summer is starting slowly. Again, I know people are not really pushing this up to the moon because they're scared, right? They're scared of the 16,000 GBTC, July 18th, okay? But there is a DeFi summer. What are they? You talk about Compound, right? You talk about uh, Uniswap. Yeah, don't forget Maker, guys. Don't forget Maker. And finally, you talk about what? Link, right? Link is, and I'm going to teach you something here. Link is the big oracle because you need data for DeFi, right? Also insurance. Also insurance, right? Because you guys don't want to put something in a pool and then have it rock pool. Right, Nexus Mutual. This is Nexus Mutual. So this is cool. 
So let's see here. Let's go in the front page here. And what do we see here? Yeah, Bitcoin, Ethereum. Let's see what's happened. No, Doji is not it. Like, look at Polkadot. It's gone up by Uniswap. Was 18 last week. It's now 23. Okay, Solana, Bitcoin, Chainlink, 20. Not gone up by a lot, but 24 hours, it's gone up by a lot. Okay, it's gone up by a lot, 7%. Polygon and Matic slowly going up again. Theta, yeah, Theta is good. Uh, this, Dai, Falcon, and all that. But again, like this chain links are all going to go up. So let's take a look at this. And this is what you have to look for in a DeFi summer. Okay, I don't know if this one is the coin. But this one, if you want to look for something, I'm going to teach you how to look for it. So you have Chainlink here going up. You can buy the blue chips. That's fine with me. It is fine. You're taking something very safe, right? So you go here to CoinGecko, and I'm just going to find out what is the rest of the org. How are our oracles doing now? How are our oracles doing now? Because you want a smaller one, right? Smaller one can go up faster, and then you combine the smaller one with staking, right? Because you guys are smart now, right? There's winkling. I didn't know any winkling. I didn't know that. Okay, that we win. Okay, fine. That's fine with me. This band protocol, yeah, I know band protocol has been around. That's considered. That's considered kind of a big token. Okay, band protocol is kind of considered kind of a big token here. I exact RLC. Yeah, I like this. This was. This is what at 12 because it was listed at Binance. API tree, my favorite. Teller, Dia. I've always been in Dia. Wow, I sold at 360, now 136. Nest and all that, right? But really, you want to find the smaller ones. Kill in the uh, Oracle, right? This is the Oracle of Polkadot. What else? Orion Chain, Umbrella, Zap, Razor. So, DOS is even here, right? You want to look at the small ones. Because the small ones can then go up faster. So it's not, it's also risky if you go with the small ones. For example, if I am looking at the small ones, I will look at this. This, this is familiar to me, okay? These three, right? Umbrella, Unmarshall, and Ori Chain. Then you have to ask yourself, like we as Privacy Swap, what are you developing? Have you been able to meet your targets? Have you been able to meet your promises? What's coming up next? Because you clearly have emission, right? You have rewards. How do we know that when you are giving us rewards, the value of the token won't go down, right? So I want a big, huge percentage of rewards, APY, plus I want to know what's going on. So let's see this. Unmarshal, Ori Chain, and Umbrella. Now, I know for something, Umbrella, guys, Umbrella is coming up with the main net. Okay, and the main net, the main net, yes, the main net. You can go to the medium. It has recently released a main net on Binance. This is a big deal. That means it comes from being like in the lab, being a concept to being something very real. This is good, right? This is good. Let's go and see. Now, to do this, you really have to follow the Telegram or you have to kind of follow Umbrella Network Medium because look at this. Look at the price. Now, I'm going to show you the price. So first, find out that there's something wrong. We went through this for privacy swap, right? Now, find out whether something is developing, okay? Umbrella Network Medium or, or just UMB, right? Let's go and see UMB. What is UMB happening? UMB uh, website, okay, Umbrella Network website. I'm just going to go here, Umbrella Network website. This is if you want to find the best ones that will benefit you most without you having to do a lot of trading, okay? This is what I'm teaching you now. So we go for a smaller one now. Okay, let's see, Doug, Doug, go. Find me that Umbrella Network website, man. Find it for me, okay? Do we have it? Community owned, okay? It's community-owned, it's decentralized Oracle, so you yourself can participate in the staking and all that and running the nodes, and it is small. You can stake UMB here, okay? You can stake something here, and when you see like this, oh, okay, what do we do next, okay? You see that? What do we do next here? 
What do we do next, guys? We check the yield, right? Just like we check for privacy swap. Remember, in the case of privacy swap, what were we doing? We're checking the yield, right? We're checking the yield in the farm. That's why I managed to get this, right? I kind of got this. Uh, do they have farms here? Yeah, where did the farm thing go? But it's all here, right? It's all pretty much here. Yeah, vaults. Uh, let me see farm. Private, yeah, pools. Oh, uh, yeah, this is cool. Yeah, pool. So you go here and check. But remember, before you check that, before you check that, please go and check that the project is actually doing something first, okay? So we know that there's something going on there. We know that it's, uh, yeah, why did it go back here? We, go, we know that uh, it has going, it's, it's, it's on the, the main net. That means it has really gone up. And now you have to ask yourself, look at that and look at that, what's happening there, right? And now you have to ask yourself, what is the yield, right? Okay, so I know. So uh, we have to make this friendly for everyone in all age groups. Okay, guys, in all age groups. I think you guys that are here can already are uh, experts. Yeah, they stake UNB. But what if you are not? Okay, you want something easy. You go to something like BitMax. X, sorry, Ascend X, and look at the APY, 96.5. Do you see that? 96.5% for something that's gone on the main net, okay? It's something. So we know that privacy swap is coming out, coming out with something like a card, right? It's coming out with something like a card and also uh, some a machine for privacy. You do not expect this to stay here forever, right? Let's be realistic, guys. When this advances later, what do you expect? This is going to go down. I'm just teaching you reality. I'm just teaching you the reality. So what you really want to do for DeFi summer is that it's not only trading, okay? Before I go, what do you want to do? First, the project schedule, right? We went through this on Saturday. Are they delivering something? Mainnet is something to deliver like umbrella. Are they delivering something? And then you check if they are delivering, then what do you see? The token price, is it down? Well, both privacy swap and umbrella is down after the initial euphoria, right? And what do you do next? You find a good APY. That's how I would do it. This means when I, when you, if you don't do this, when you buy here and you look here to sell here, it is something very far, you know, like it's so far. You got to be like Superman, guys. You got to be like Superman to reach. But if you can do this, the staking and all that, you know what? Guess what? Your big profit is here. It's not here. It's here. You know why? Because you buy one and then here you could have two, right? And then if the price goes up because of development, bingo, bingo, bingo. That's how you find things. So if you really want to enjoy DeFi Summer, you got to do more research. So this is something that started. And this is something that to me here, which is UMB here, has happened. And if you can make that distinction, you are now ready to join the DeFi Summer. Do you guys understand that? It is happening, guys. Just look at all the DeFi coins. It is happening. I'm just giving you a template here on how to catch it. And we are going to catch it. We're going to do more of this on the Saturday class, okay, for our uh, special students then. So let's look at where we are now. Of course, DeFi summer depends a lot on Ethereum. We're good. We're good. We're waiting for this just to hit this. Everything looks good for a DeFi summer. Just be careful of July 18th. But again, I'm going to tell you again before I go, I'm going to sound very boring, okay? I'm going to sound very boring. Sorry about this. July 18th is Bitcoin unlock. Uh, and then possibly July 21st is what? July 21st is Elon meeting what? Elon meeting Jack Dorsey. And post and about what? End of the month, July 28th is, 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 is Tesla. So yes, we have a tough month. We have a tough and challenging month, but look at what's happening. People are already, are already preparing for DeFi summer. 
how are people preparing for deep five summer they are locking their gains okay they are locking their gains whether and getting more things right and getting more tokens whether it is through privacy swap or through something like umbrella network so pick your coins pick the yields and we'll see you again on monday for another great show okay because we are going towards the EIP 1559. We are going towards D Day, D Day of the 18th, guys. Until then, what do we say? Hold the line. I am possible. DeFi summer is coming. Goodbye.